Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, long overdue, we're going to talk about Alignment Planner Workspace, or as you see it is just above my head, Alignment Workspace. It fits better in the little box. But this is big. This has been, you know, iterated over by ServiceNow in the past couple of releases. I think it's moving to a store model here soon if it hasn't already. And they are really enhancing the heck out of this product. So why is it so important? I want to first start um, with showing you what's going on here in the upper left hand side. So we've got an organization type that I can toggle between portfolio and enterprise. So you can come in and plan your typical project management stuff, demands, uh, projects, epics, and put them on here. We can do big rocks, we can do milestones, we can um, put those different things on this workspace from a portfolio perspective. So we are looking at the digital transformation portfolio within Alignment Planner Workspace. What's going on behind me? Those are demands, those are um, projects. I'll show you the legend here. We've got demands, epics, and projects all showing up on this particular one. We've got a timeline view so we can see it's Q2, Q3, Q4. I can adjust this. I can do by quarter. I can do by year. I can do by month, as you saw when I first came on here. So kind of change what we're seeing. I can alter the planning period up here at the top. So if I wanted to change the window of time that I'm looking at, I can do that there. And I can get in and start doing some granular details tracking on, hey, I want to group all of these particular projects, demands, and epics, maybe by the planning organization, or the, I'm already in the one planning organization, or the owner, or the priority. And so now we can see on the left-hand side, I've got high, moderate, low priority, and it's all kind of sorted out there, still color-coded by the uh, planning item type. If I wanted to change how it's color-coding them, I can do that here using this color by, and we can change it to the priority, the state, the status, the strategy, right? So all of those things, I have some options around uh, what display is on here. If I want to create things directly from the roadmap, I can do that here. I can do a new demand, a new epic, a new project, and start working on the details for that directly from the Alignment Planner workspace. Um, if I wanted to set new milestones, I've got a couple of options around the kind of milestones you can include on here. We'll just do this one demo for YouTube and show that we can have a key event, the launch date, an important date, a deadline, a key milestone, and make sure that that's represented on the particular uh, what we're looking at. So let's just put that on there so you can see this key event we'll do. Um, we're in Q2. I'll just go move out to Q3 and we'll put it on uh, August 2nd. Hit OK and hit Submit. And now that will actually show it's going to show as this little flag that's right there in Q3 of 2022. If I hover over it, we can see that this particular one is the demo for YouTube key event. If I want to click on that and change anything about those milestone details, I can edit it right there. If we want to switch it to a launch date, I think we'll get a little rocket ship, which is pretty cool. I like rocket ships. Um, so we, now we've got a rocket ship showing up there and we have successfully updated that. So neat stuff we could do there. One last feature I'll show you before I'm going to show you one more is the tracking mode. So if I want to turn on tracking mode, now I get green, yellow, red indicators. I get percent complete on the particular project. And you can see even here where it's given, it's filling the color based on the percent complete. So you got a nice visual cue. Now what if I wanted to see something like the project manager or the owner or something like that. So let's go look at what we can add. Uh, we got CapEx, we got actual CapEx, we got planned CapEx and OpEx, so these different things we can show. Owner's turned off, so let's turn it on. And now I can see I've got uh, a little, I'm gonna have to call it out to you so you can see it. Yeah, that I've got little logos for the people who are the owner. And if I hover over them, I should be able to see more details. That's Paul Martin, he's the IT project manager in our demo environment. Um, but if I wanted to add another detail there, I could have added another field to show on the bar, like we were talking about planned CapEx, for example. So now I've got all my costs showing up on those bars. Um, other things I can do, um, I can view information about a particular item that I'm looking at. So if I wanted to take a look at this particular project, now I can see all the project details, basically the project form, any milestones, comments, attachments for that particular one. If I wanted to um, do something with the organization, chat with somebody and put some comments on this particular um, roadmap that we're looking at, do attachments, stuff like that, I can do all that here. Last thing I want to show you, it's going to look kind of similar, is um, doing something ad hoc meaning we're just going to pull in various things that have dates and times stamps on the actual roadmap. So I can hit create roadmap 
And this is going to default to particular types of records that you'd be able to have on here. So we'll call this one demo for YouTube as well. And let's set a date for today and we'll go through um, the end of the year. And uh, we're going to put the own, our own kind of records on here. Oop, I didn't do that right. Um, always on a demo. Do I screw that up? So we'll do December 31st, hit OK. Uh, we'll just put a description and now I specify the source table. So maybe we want to look at actual projects for this. Um, so I'll save that and it's going to, I could set some conditions on the projects that I want to pull in. You know, now that I think of it, maybe we want to just pull in the active ones. Um, we'll set that. Maybe we want to put where it's a particular project manager or a portfolio or a department or um, a planning organization, stuff like that. Hit save and now it's going to populate that ad hoc roadmap with all the items I want. So if you wanted to do one for demands, if you want to do one for epics, if you wanted to do one for stories, um, I don't know why you do that, but you could actually create your own ad hoc roadmap around any record in the system that's based off the task table. You will need your admin to actually configure that to make that available for you. Um, but let's see how much longer this takes to actually pull up. Okay, that didn't take too much longer, maybe about five seconds, but I'll edit it out and post. But now you can see I've got all my different projects showing here and I can do the same stuff we were just looking at. I can go in, edit the roadmap details for this one. So if I wanted to change the table or something like that, I can definitely do that. Um, I can change the settings to change the color by, maybe again, we wanna do it by um, priority or by project manager and we can do all that uh, and modify that. To, to have that look and feel that we want. So Alignment Planner Workspace, you've got a quick overview, a quick tour. This is really great if you're planning things and you want to have a visual and some control around the personalization of those visuals in order to plan and do things. So that's Alignment Planner Workspace. Lots going on here. I could probably do several videos on this. There's gonna be some new updates coming out in May of 2022. So I'm gonna update this video and show you all the new features coming in Alignment Planner Workspace. But I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested. And until next time, I'll see you on the next one.